Good day my fellow royal fans, today's news. Prince Harry looked somber as he stood at the foot of his beloved grandmother's coffin during a short vigil at Westminster Hall on Saturday night. The Duke of Sussex stood opposite his older brother, Prince William, who was positioned at the head of the late monarch's casket. The brothers wore downcast expressions as they bowed their heads in honour of the Queen, who passed away on Thursday, September 8th. They both wore full military uniforms at the request of their father, King Charles III. Harry, who saw action on the front lines during two tours of duty in Afghanistan, has previously been denied the chance to wear his military uniform as he publicly mourns because he is no longer a working royal. But royal sources said the king decided his youngest son could wear uniform for the vigil. Despite being a former army officer, Harry has been in civilian dress for official events, including walking behind the queen's coffin on Wednesday. Joining the two brothers were the queen's other grandchildren, including Peter Phillips, Zara Tyndall, Princesses Beatrice and Eugene, Lady Louise Windsor and James Viscount Severn. The poem service lasted around 15 minutes. Members of the public continued to file past while the Queen's grandchildren stood guard, with some women wiping tears away from their faces as they left the hall. Then, as the vigil ended, the Prince of Wales led his brother and cousins out of Westminster Hall. As the group made their way back up the corner staircase, Zara bent down to retrieve one of her shoes which appeared to have slipped off. As the royals returned to their cars, Zara appeared to be linking arms with Harry, while Peter, Louise and Beatrice were walking along together. The Queen's funeral will take place at Westminster Abbey on Monday, followed by a private committal service attended by the royal family at St George's Chapel in Windsor. There's our royal news for today. Please do like, comment and subscribe and goodbye for now.